Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In more of the visions, let's have one last look at Aranael. We'll do an arena showcase. I made some changes. I gave her the Ice Lance and then the Bells, and then I took out Vixera and I added my brand new Mua at level 115. She's really good. Why didn't anyone tell me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I'm going to go against teams with as many uh, magic users as possible. And then uh, this Arena Showcase video should be longer than my average because a lot of the fights that I did were interesting. Okay, but first turn, we'll use the Pierce attack up, Defense Penetration up. And then Mua will use the, uh, the Magic Shield plus Regen, plus Shell, I think it is. And then Sela's, she will do the same, uh, raise her hate, and then do the, uh, the Runic Blade. Here's the limit break from Locke. Uh, he's only level 89. Alright, then second turn, RNA will use the bells. And move and jump plus one on Mua. Okay, there's the big AoE attack from uh, Classy Glassy. That will be absorbed by the Rune Blade, uh, which, if you activate it, will absorb two uh, magic attacks. Uh, will not absorb limit breaks, however. Okay, there's Magic Buster. That is a Magic Down AoE. Confuse Edge. That will confuse Sela's. Alright, that might have been a 100% hit attack from Mua there. And then a Magic Reflex. Again, the, uh, the big AoE, but again, Sela's will absorb it. And then RNA limit break on Helena. Okay, almost one punch. That's a uh, real guts case. <laughs> okay, Runic is gone, but uh, these two characters, my two characters, they have good magic resistance, so not too much damage there. Okay, Celas will finally go down, but she's more than done her job, and then we'll take down Classy Glassy. Okay, next fight. I was not able to uh, start the recording in time, uh, but these three characters we're going against are uh, level 120. Uh, but I see uh, Classy Glassy, Helena, and Terra. I was super impressed with how good uh, Sela's and Mua were. Uh, of course, I'm only going against uh, parties with mostly magic users. So I wouldn't quite call them a uh, dynamic duo, but yeah, I was very impressed with how they did. Okay, same buffs on my team here. Okay, there's the Scholar attack for a uh, Magic Scaled Strike attack. Again, we'll use the, uh, the Magic Break, big AoE. And then Mua's Limit Break, which is pretty darn strong. It's great that she has so much range uh, with that Limit Break, because it helps her um, close the gap. A lot of her other attacks are shoulder range. Alright, here is Terra's Limit Break. Okay, some damage on Sela's. <laughs> okay, there's the uh, Vision ability from the Stargazer Vision card, Break the Defense on Terra. And another Absorption from Sela's. And another Absorption from Sela's, protecting RNA there. Jamming Thrust, there goes Terra. And Waterga, that is from her... Subjob, her uh, Rune Knight, I guess you could call it Rune Knight Subjob. Take down Helena. Nope, global players, close your eyes. It's the uh, original Valentine Salia. <laughs> Alright, but they got uh, Valentine Salia, Helena, and then Terra. Uh, Terra is not level 120, so we can kind of ignore her. I'm glad to go against Valentine Salia, though, because I still feel she's maybe the best ice unit overall. Really, really solid. 
Uh, but we'll see how she does against my two characters that are strong against uh, magic attacks. Uh, she does have the uh, magic scale projectile attack, so maybe she'll prefer that. Okay, absorb that. Oh, and uh, someone pointed this out in the comments of the uh, previous Arena Showcase, but uh, the fact that Sellas uses the Runic Blade, which absorbs regular magic attacks, uh, the AI will kind of play around that and then prioritize uh, limit breaks. And so, uh, it can be a way to like get the other team to use up all their limit breaks uh, before your more uh, fragile characters come in. So that's another way that uh, Sellas protects them. Okay, but here is a uh, Dispel from uh, Valentine Salia. Uh, but Dispel does not have an effect on uh, Protect and Shell or on the, uh, the Runic Blade, so she still has all of that. And yeah, she absorbs the dark there. <laughs> okay, there's the uh, Magic Scale Projectile attack. And Magic Buster, take down those two guys. Salas is a decent source of damage. I was semi-impressed. Okay, and then there goes Helena. Alright, Aranea not doing too much, but that's not like it's a bad thing. It's only if things like get out of hand uh, with Sellas and Mua that uh, maybe Aranea will have uh, more to do. But yeah, that's part of uh, one of my requirements uh, for me to call like a pair, a dynamic duo, if they're good enough that they don't need a third unit. I'll do more testing and see if uh, the, this water pair is really a dynamic duo. Again, they're really best against uh, magic, so they're a little limited. Although Celes does okay against physical, uh, as long as it's not strike. She has uh, positive uh, resistances to everything else. Okay, but here's a good test. Uh, let me break from Dwayne. And okay, she's not even at half HP, so that's good. Oh, one funny thing uh, that I discovered is that um, Celes, she also has magic reflex like uh, Mua. If you have the Runic Blade and then magic reflex goes off, uh, what she will do is that she won't absorb it, she'll just avoid it. And so if like there was another character that was in that uh, AoE area of effect, uh, she'll just kind of like selfishly dodge it herself and not protect her teammate. I thought that was pretty funny, so you don't want to use those two skills uh, together. Okay, there goes Celes, finally. Okay, Mua Limit Break again. This will uh, imperil water. And then I did uh, slow build uh, Mua. I'm still slow building her, trying to get her to uh, 120. But somehow, I had like a better feeling from her than all of the other standard pool uh, cost 90 units. And uh, now using her, I'm very glad I did. She's really good. <laughs> it's a shame that she came after Helena, because uh, Helena overshadows pretty much everybody. Okay, that was the uh, single target uh, break jump from Aranea. That might be her best attack, her regular standard attack, outside of her limb break. Okay, here we have a Terra, Joom, and Halloween Leela. I think another thing that uh, maybe global players are curious about is how Joom does against Aranea. Uh, Aranea does have the uh, element advantage there, uh, but Joom is just so hard that uh, she should still be able to take attacks. Halloween Leela. I don't regret not pulling for her, but I also kind of do. <laughs> okay, there's the agility break from Joom. That has the large uh, AoE. Ok, 
Okay, level 3 Aroga, absorbed. Okay, Magic Buster again, lower the magic. Alright, there goes Terra. And single target break from Jun. I really like that attack. And a Frost Arts on Aranao. Raise attack, defense, and then add uh, Frostbite to one of her jumps. Okay, level 3 Aroga. Alright, Runic has run out. Celos goes down. Alright, that is a Dispel attack. Alright, she hit everybody there because of the uh, kind of the unique AoE, that uh, perfect square. And there goes Terra. Alright. That was a good showcase of RNA, I thought. <laughs> okay, next. Classic Glassy, Valentine Salia, and Terra. My Celas is not at uh, level 120 yet, so I do feel like I can get more uh, tankiness out of her. Uh, but she's doing pretty darn good, as it is. Her uh, job level 25 skill, she can remove uh, breaks from herself, that's pretty cool. Uh, while also doing a, a ranged attack for big damage. <laughs> that will be an interesting uh, addition to her kit. But yeah, I see a lot of potential for Salas. Sella's on the break. First time seeing that this video. This will raise her own attack resistances. Not amazing damage. I don't know. Maybe I'd want to turn that off. There might be better uses for her AP. Okay, again, Dispel from Salia. break on Valentine Salia. Let's see if she can get through the barriers. Not quite. <laughs> oh, there goes Sela's. But everybody's lined up for Mua's limit break. And uh, pretty soon we'll have the return of the holiday party card to JP. Definitely want to get that to put on to uh, Mua, Classy Glassy, people like that. Okay, again, taking away the uh, job from Aranea. <laughs> okay, last battle. Here is a Helena and the new uh, Lanan. He is the third uh, Crystal Fest unit, uh, Lightning Element. Uh, Lanan, of course, he has the element advantage on Celes, um, but if she absorbs the attack, uh, then it's not going to matter what the element is. <laughs> okay, re-raise on their Helena. And I have to say that it's starting to feel... Oh, re-raise on a uh, lock too. I have to say that it's starting to feel a little bit weird in War of the Visions because we're seeing more and more uh, numbered Final Fantasy characters. Of course, there's been uh, collaboration characters up to now, but the first kind of like two years of the game, it's really been focused on the original characters of the game, which I like. But yeah, we're seeing more and more of the uh, collaboration characters. Kind of feels like a different game, a little bit. 
no complaints there. I uh, love the, uh, the numbered mainline characters. Okay, but we saw the limit break from uh, Lanon. Didn't one punch Celes? Didn't even come close, so. Okay, there's the uh, vision ability. Defense break. Take down Lanon. And dark, absorbed. The, uh, the opponent AI will still cast spells, uh, even if uh, they know it's going to be absorbed. But like uh, Helena there, she only cast uh, Dark, which is a very low cost spell. Maybe they're trying to uh, save AP on uh, spells that they know will be absorbed. Okay, Rising Sun from Locke. I love the, uh, the reference. Okay, there's the uh, Dispel attack from Aranea. 7,000 damage is not bad, but uh, re-raise will come in. Okay, there's the uh, Spear and AP break from Helena. Okay, Confuse Edge. No Confuse, but Aranea will go down. Now it's just me and Locke. Okay, there's Reflex from Locke. I think that was a 100% hit attack from Mula too, so that's frustrating. And a Spell Dagger. Mula also has Slow. Uh oh. <laughs> Regular attack from Locke will take down Mula. Alright, so we end on a loss, but this was a very good team. Much better than the other uh, one that I uh, put up earlier. But yeah, I'm very impressed with uh, Celes and Mula together. I might try that uh, duo again uh, with a variety of other characters, probably attackers, and uh, maybe see if they are a dynamic duo or not. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.